Well, a disclaimer here, the Lamborghini Aventador is my all-time favorite sports car. Uh, and that's really almost all you sell, the Aventador and the Uricon, right? Yes, we are two-model company. Uh, we sell less than demand. This is one of the things uh, we have to tackle because luxury business is always very limited and the Huracan is going great. The Aventador is now since 2011 on the market. We had the Roadster in 13. We had now the Super Veloce at the Geneva Motor Show, which is doing great. So we are very happy. Yeah. So uh, why only 2530? Do you want to keep this uh, limited field, this exclusiveness, or is it just hard to produce that many of these cars? It's a bit of everything. It's uh, they have a long life cycle, you have to invest a lot of money. The market is very low, so there is uh, around the globe not more than 30,000 super sports cars sold. And uh, for the Aventador, for example, we are selling an average of 1,000, which is the double of the predecessor, which was the Murcielago. So we are doing a good job there. The, the car is very attractive. On the Huracan, uh, we started production in summer. We presented the car in March at the Geneva Motor Show. And uh, this year we have the opportunity to be better than 2,530. The first quarter was great. Let's see what is going to happen. If n no major crises are coming up, we can be better. How is the, uh, I, I'm a little bit obsessed, and I got to drive this uh, Aventador on the uh, New Jersey Motorsports track. Actually, here's a video of me actually doing that. Um, <laughs> was the greatest day of my entire life in 41 years, as you can see there. Uh, but I learned a lot about the Super Trofeo, which is a racing series that you use to bring in buyers uh, to the experience. How's that going? It's going well. We started in 2009. It's a one-make race series. We started with the Gallardo in Europe in 2009, 2012. Then we had another series in Asia. And since two years, we are doing it uh, uh, here in, in North America. Today, or this year, we will start uh, with the Huracan on the Super Trofeo. And, uh, yeah, the first race is uh, next weekend in Monza, the 11th of April in Italy. Very cool. Uh, you probably wouldn't race an SUV, although if you could, it would be the Urus. Are you any closer to making that concept a realization, the Lamborghini SUV? We all think that a third model is good for Lamborghini. Uh, if it's a third model, then it will be an SUV because it's uh, a growing segment. It's a very emotional segment in the four-door segment. It's very well distributed amongst the regions in this world. We have not the go yet, but I hope this is coming soon. Uh, it, of course, the predecessor is the LM002, one of my all-time favorite cars also. Uh, it basically became a Humvee. What else can we expect from Lamborghini? As the Aventador is now uh, phasing out, what's, what's next? No, the Aventador is not phasing out. Uh, the Aventador is doing great and it will have uh, still a lot uh, uh, in, uh, in his uh, backdrop. We have a lot of surprises coming up. Um, I think that Lamborghini is never speaking about the future because we always have to be better than the uh, expectations of our customers. It's a dream car. It's not a car you buy to go from A to B. And it's something which uh, so always exceeds the expectations. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate the work you're doing for mankind. <laughs> thank you very much. Stephen Winkleman, CEO of Lamborghini.